PTPioneer.com, your number one resource for getting started in personal training as well as uh, becoming a fantastic personal trainer to ones who already are one. So today we're going to be doing uh, two certification reviews. They're both indoor cycling certifications. Um, if you like group exercise training, uh, if you like spin classes, you might have wanted to change uh, up your personal training from one-on-one -on -one training to group training. And spinning is one of my personal favorite uh, types of group exercise training. And it's a lot of fun to lead as well as to take these classes. Uh, you blast a lot of music and you do a lot of cool things and it's a great workout. Everybody's having fun. There's a lot of good energy. Uh, so if you're thinking about, you know, maybe if you need continuing education or if you want to start to get into group exercise training, uh, I think indoor cycling is one of the coolest ways to do it. So the two certifications I'm going to be talking about today are the indoor cycling, uh, indoor group cycling specialty certification by NETA and the Cycling Instructor Certification by uh, AFPA. So um, let me break down both of these individually and then I'll talk about which one I think is the best at the end and conclude. Uh, so we'll start off with AFPA. So um, some of the things that you, you'll, they go over in the certification are uh, building a safe and effective routine, techniques for endurance cyclists, techniques for strength and speed cyclists, uh, how to step uh, up your studio in chore choreography for indoor cycling. Um, some objectives for this course are to teach proper bike setup for you know people that are different ways and for people that are different heights and have uh, you know longer legs or longer arms. How to set up uh, the bike perfectly for each of your clients in your class. You'll learn safe and effective warm up and cool down techniques. Uh, and you'll learn how to coach the class both on your bike and off the bike, which I think is pre pretty cool because a lot of people get off their bike and then they go around uh, fixing everybody's technique and pumping everybody up. Um, and they also teach you how to recognize common cycling related injuries and the best way to avoid them and how to uh, teaching some exercises to help correct them if that ever happens. So some prerequisites for this course are you need to be 18 years old, uh, you have to have a high school diploma or an equivalent, and the overall course is $420. Um, that's about average for a certification. The NETA certification uh, is a lot cheaper, uh, so let me jump into the, uh, the NETA certification. So the NETA, they also teach you a lot of the same stuff, so I'm not going to repeat some of it, but um, they have a great terminology section related to spinning and they have um, one of the coolest things that they do is they teach you how to work with a class that has a lot of different skill levels so you might have an advanced cyclist and a complete beginner in the class uh, it teaches you how to work with both at the same time so that you're not pushing the beginner too hard and you're not like being too soft on the on the advanced cyclist as well so kind of changing up um, and personalizing for each individual uh, client in your classroom. Um, and that's definitely one of the most difficult things when in, with doing any group exercise classes. You're going to have a lot of different uh, fitness levels in the class. You're going to have a lot of beginners that are not very in very good shape. And you have a lot of advanced people that have been working out for a while and are very fit. It's very hard to make a class so they both get a good workout for their individual uh, exercise levels. So. Uh, this does a great job of going into that. And the course is only $169, which I think is really cool. Um, it's very cheap. I think you do you do learn more information definitely from the AFPA, but the NETA certification is uh, still very legitimate. If you're trying to get into group exercise training, they're both fantastic ideas. Uh, so yeah, if you're getting, if you're serious, if you take a lot of spin classes, you're already doing personal training one-on-one, you want to switch up with, with the group exercise training, uh, this is a good way to do it. Um, I think a good thing to go in combination with this is to actually get a group fitness certification. And that teaches you a lot more principles about teaching with groups and not just spinning. But um, if you want to get into group training, which I think is a really good idea because you can make more money. Uh, say you're doing one-on-one -on -one training and you're charging $60 an hour for a client, you could drop that price down to $20 per client but have five clients, so that's $100 for the hour-long session. You win by making more money, your clients win by paying a lot less money. 
uh, and it's a lot of fun with the group exercise training because the energy in the classrooms are great um, and everybody's having a fun time. It's a good way to get a workout in and have fun at the same time. Um, it's not as personalized, but that's what a lot of these certifications try to teach you to do. They try to teach you how to specialize uh, for each individual client in your class at the same time as you're running a group exercise class. And that's, as I was talking about, one of the hardest things. So I'll have links to both these certifications down below. Definitely check out my website if you already are a trainer and you want to make more money, you want to succeed, uh, be a better trainer overall. I have great resources. If you haven't gotten started in the personal training industry, I also have a lot of information on how to become a personal trainer, which certification to pick, uh, which one was right for you, and how to thrive in the industry once you're in it. So check out my site, you can't miss out, and please give me a thumbs up if this video was helpful. Thanks. For study guides and discount codes on some of the top personal training certifications, head to ptpioneer.com. The link will be in the description down below. I have a step-by-step -step guide on how to become a personal trainer, how to make a lot of money once you are a personal trainer, and much more essential information on getting started as a personal trainer for you guys to check out. Until next time, guys, happy training.